on November 25th, 2015. An anonymous user took to the 4chan message boards to post a summary of a strange conversation they recently had. The conversation was with a girl who was, at the time, homeless and in a band. She was working for a company that was in the process of closing all of its locations across the country. Her job was to pack boxes at one of their factories, and she was working with just one other guy. Apparently, both of the employees were given tape guns to steal the boxes. Most of the things in the factory had labels for their respective departments, but the label on her tape gun was different. It had a certain word written on it. A word which leads to a rabbit hole full of secret codes, surveillance conspiracies, and deleted YouTube channels. A word that read, Aradas. What is Aradas? When the girl inquired as to the nature of the word, her co-worker told her to get rid of the tape gun and to not mention the word to any supervisors. He said that one of his jobs years before was writing code to flag any employee that searches for the word in their computer system. Apparently, any employee who looked up the word erratas was scheduled to be fired. Even more unsettling was the job description. The girl explained that the atmosphere at the factory was hellishly unhappy and that everyone was just doing what the computer system would tell them to do. Even weird, useless shit. A month later, on December 19th, 2015, another anonymous user posts on 4chan, asking if anyone had software or IT-related jobs on the East Coast between 2000 and 2010. This is the second time Arados was mentioned on the message boards, and the anonymous user refers to it as, quote, some sort of sketchy HR-related program. Later that same day, another Anon posts a reply. They suggest that Arados might be a system that allows a, quote, specific third-party company unconditional access to employee information, unquote. They conclude the post by mentioning three companies they believe to be a part of the system. UPS, Unilever, and Ecolab. Another month later, on January 25th, 2016, a post was made in the music message boards by a user who wanted to create a new genre of music called Deep Internet. The user suggested that the music would be built by sampling obscure YouTube videos. The user included a set of links, one of which led to a YouTube video called YouTube is monitoring and controlling my life, by a channel named Kronos for Life Jurassic Park. This channel believes himself to be a victim of Arados. The video was uploaded two days before the user's post, and in it, the uploader talks about how YouTube's algorithms had targeted his deceased mother's tribute videos to the Jurassic Park movies. He also refers to some secrets she discovered in the original Jurassic Park trilogy. Due to the mysterious nature of Kronos' video, 4chan users began investigating the channel's other videos, and they found one called Jurassic Park 3 Tribute Reupload. On the surface, it seems to merely be a compilation of Jurassic Park 3 footage. However, near the end of the video, there is a secret embedding of Morse code which can be heard. I've edited the audio so that you could hear it better. Independent researchers have isolated the code, and it states the phrase, Hollywood Astral Projection Clinic. No further explanation is given. The next day, on January 26, 2016, Kronos for Life uploaded another video called Here Goes Nothing, which claims to be Bates for the Arata's algorithm. The video description reads, If it flags this one, that's some spooky shit. Yet the video itself is even spookier. 
Turning on automatic captions reveals a few hidden messages at key times. And the thing is, automatic captions are added by a computer text-to-speech program. They can't be edited. At 12 seconds, it reads, R far from over, 200 Corbin, Kentucky, 40219. At 52 seconds, it reads, 111111. At 1 minute and 46 seconds, it reads, 10.3%, 10.4%. And at 2 minutes and 17 seconds, it reads, Overthrow the government. Let's quickly go over what we know so far. There's supposedly a system called Aratas that gives third party companies access to employee information. And anyone who looks into it is targeted, such as Kronos for Life, supposedly. Good? Great. Because now. Now it gets weird. Among the hidden messages in Kronos' video, we find the address 200 Corbin, Kentucky 40219. The zip codes assigned to Corbin, Kentucky are 40701 to 40702, and the zip code for 40219 is for Jefferson County, Kentucky. Therefore, we can say that this address does not exist. Nevertheless, this address was listed on a Bandcamp page for a band called KFC Murder Chicks. Their Bandcamp page has since been taken down. Based on the research done by 4chan users, it turns out that KFC Murder Chicks was an allegedly homeless girl band produced by DJ Roswell. It's also been mentioned that one of their members worked in a warehouse. Kind of like the girl from the first 4chan post. You know, the one that was homeless and in a band. Looking deeper into KFC Murder Chicks, we find one of their videos on YouTube that leads to a strange connection. The video, from November 21st, 2015, four days before the first mention of Aradas on 4chan, has the word Aradas right in its description. It was posted by a channel called Todd Ellsworth. Todd Ellsworth is also the display name for the Twitter account Aradas or Rust. Both the Twitter handle and the YouTube video description used to read Aradas or Bust, but since then both of them have been changed. No one knows why. Then the rabbit hole goes even deeper. Todd Ellsworth is an anagram for the Lost World, as in the Lost World Jurassic Park. This implies some connection between Todd Ellsworth and the Kronos for Life YouTube channel, which had the address for KFC Murder Chicks secretly embedded in one of its videos. Around the time when Aradas was going viral, Kronos for Life apparently released a Q&A video Though the video has been deleted, a transcript remains. In the video, Kronos describes Aradas as a system used by dozens of companies as a copyright enforcement tool, but makes note that the system could be used for other things. Strangely while speaking, Kronos suddenly interjects a statement about Jurassic Park, recommending the movie and claiming the second film is their favorite. When asked about Aradas, Kronos mentions two possibilities. The first being that his mother's Jurassic Park tribute videos were targeted merely as coincidence. The second possibility, however, raises a red flag. Kronos claims that the Arata system might still be coming after him after all these years. The transcript doesn't include any information as to why Aratas would be targeting Kronos. He concludes the session by mentioning two companies, 3M and Unilever. It begs the question, is Aradas truly a complex AI system used by multinational companies for copyright enforcement and employee tracking? Let's look deeper into Todd Ellsworth. The Twitter account for Todd Ellsworth is now private. Before going private, the account only had three bizarre tweets. One of them, from November 20th, 2015, contained a strange image of an elongated face. Further investigation reveals that the image is a police sketch of a serial rapist, last seen in Maui, Hawaii. During the time the Arata's mystery was going viral, this image appeared again on another video on the Todd Ellsworth YouTube channel. The video was a 666 Trap Slime remix of a Gorilla song, and the image was the cover art for the Gorilla's Demon Days album, with the bottom right square replaced by the image of the serial rapist. In the video's description was the text, 
classic track from his deleted SoundCloud. Whatever happened to Trap Slime anyways? He was just blowing up. It turns out that this track actually originated from the SoundCloud of user Green Boots, who is Patrice Moss, one of the members of KFC Murder Chicks. Many researchers have speculated as to whether Todd's reference to a he is a mistake, since it can be assumed that Todd and the KFC Murder Chicks band are somehow associated. Another one of Todd's tweets stand out. In it, he mentions the deepest part of the deep web being the postal service. It's been suggested that Todd's mention of the deep web is a sly reference to the deep internet music genre from the posts in the 4chan music boards. Nevertheless, what makes this comment interesting is that KFC Murder Chicks also made a post regarding the postal service. Though their original post has disappeared, blogger Arecibo has preserved a copy of their response when asked about the post, where they express distrust in the postal service and suggest that they're, quote, tied in with a lot of government's more unsavory activities, mainly a disregard for constitutional rights. Even though the KFC Murder Chicks Bandcamp page has been deleted, their Tumblr page remained active. Users took to asking them questions on the site, trying to link the band to the whole Arata's mystery. Some questions stand out. With reference to the strange photo of the serial rapist, one Anon asked, Have you ever been to Hawaii? To which they replied, as a band, no. When asked about Arata's, they simply replied, Uh, like Magic slash Yu-Gi-Oh Arata? And when asked about their favorite movie, they replied with being a fan of the Connoisseur movies, which are widely taken to be a spin-off of the Jurassic Park movies. Although the mention of Connoisseur movies is similar to the seeming obsession Kronos has for Jurassic Park, the Tumblr account doesn't really lead to anything, and the band's other posts have nothing to do with Arata's. Guys, honestly, there is so much more we can go into. We can talk about how KFC Murder Chicks mentions Todd Ellsworth as an author, and how they even mention him in one of their songs. If you are Todd Ellsworth, or a relative, heir, or descendant of Todd Ellsworth, please immediately contact the bank to reclaim over $5,000 belonging to Todd Ellsworth. We can dive into DJ Roswell and the theories about his involvement and who he really is, but at the end of the day, it all just feels like a hard detour from the Arata's mystery. Unless, of course, that's the point. I mean, if Arata's exists, and if it is some sort of top secret government tracking and copyright system, then it doesn't make any sense for the name to also be the algorithm that is meant to protect it if it just serves to delete mentions of itself. Kind of defeats the purpose of keeping it a secret, though it does make for a neat little mystery. What we're trying to say is that maybe Arata's is not the name of the system at all. Maybe it's simply a code word for something greater, a decoy to prevent any curious online investigators from discovering the real truth, with safeguards full of supposed clues to keep them well distracted. Sure, some of them do lead to dead ends, but isn't that what they would want? I'm not saying this is the truth, but it made more sense the deeper we investigated. Maybe this is the big secret Kronos for Life mentioned he discovered early on. Maybe I myself am making myself a target by mentioning this to you all. No new information has been uncovered for years. The original 4chan threads have been deleted. Many users were even banned. Some for copyright infringement, which is odd for a site where that's usually the norm. There was even a YouTube channel called Exer Herb that had been covering the Arata's mystery until 2016, when the channel went missing. YouTube user Toxicologist created a video regarding his sudden disappearance, claiming that Exer Herb created KFC Murder Chicks, but we couldn't find any evidence to support this. Other theories include him being behind Arata's as some alternate reality game, or him going insane after visiting the Hikati station, which was his last video on his channel. One thing is for certain though. Searching for Arata's now leads to a web revolving around meme sites, the KFC Murder Chicks, and obscure YouTube channels. 
Many people believe that the whole thing was just some ARG. Well, if erratas is something that is meant to be kept hidden, then they've done a good job at keeping it that way.